máy I got caught to the security but I'm off Mick how are you? alright? yeah not too bad yeah, Ian said it. Uh, it's alright if I come in and do a bit of filming today. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> mate. Okay. So here we are, mate. BMA house. It's a, it's a big old building. Me, me late auntie Joan, she started here as a school leaver, I think, when she was 15 or 16. And then, yeah, my mum worked here in, in a few spells before she had me, then she left. She's done a few other jobs and then she come back. So, yeah, as I say, like, you know, sort of, yeah, between the three of us, yeah, it's sort of around about 100 years of that like, service. But, yeah, I mean, fan so a lot of fantastic memories. I've met some wonderful people, some friends. A lot of us still keep in contact with each other. Yeah, some fantastic sort of leaving do's, parties. Yeah, a lot. Obviously, as time changes, the culture, but even long before I worked here, like every Friday, like there'd be like, you know, one office would sort of, oh yeah, there's a party in that office on the Friday afternoon. And yeah, it was a lot more sort of uh, relaxed and casual back then. But uh, yeah, yeah, some, yeah, some real, real, Good times here. And obviously sad times, as we're going to discuss as we walk along now, in here. The old Hastings, where well, it used to be called the Hastings room, but it's moved into a few more things. I don't know if we can get in here. Yeah, we can. As I say, when, that, when the bus went up, as I say, it's on the song. Like, yeah, this is what, as I said, like, if you can see it through there, it's like the old marbled halls and above it. But this used to be, um, this used to be like the old information services. They reckon it's lucky a woman weren't in that day, like, because like, when the bus went up and the pole, the pole come through the window, and they, like, if she was sitting in her chair, then I think, like, it's reckon she might have been... The, Capitated, or you know, she wouldn't have been here anymore. After what happened, uh, come, come back. You know, people like was being sort of like carried in and like thing. I think used to, I didn't know. I didn't even come out into this bit. I didn't really see anything with my own eyes, and I'm glad I didn't because what other people saw. Say most of them sort of had to leave, like on the on like leave on medical grounds because you know what they went through, and it was too tough for them to come back and work and stuff, and so so totally understandable. They say, but they was using this out there. So lucky a few of the doctors was on site here, and they was sort of trying to look after the people and ah, oh. yeah, yeah, definitely. Is my big Mike on the security? <laughs> Top Arsenal man, which is always good. <laughs> Lovely gentleman, like most people here are. But uh, yeah, so we're going to take a walk. Right. Let's go over the road. Cheers, mate. Tell her, mate. Yeah. Now, this is where it, the, the, the roof went up. So, a sound you can't describe and a sound you never forget. And I'm lucky, really, to be the, telling the tale because I could have easily, or me and my colleague could have easily been standing like we normally did, standing here, having a cigarette or cutting through to deliver the mail and you know, could easily been caught up in that. So, up there, so I never saw anything with my own eyes, but I was right above the impact, let's say, on the third floor. So when it went up, like, yeah. 
that and then I was saving all the pictures and that after, you know, like the blood on the pavement, the blood on the walls. Yeah, and then blood on the ceiling in the marble halls. Yeah. And you know, even a few years later, you could smell the cordite of like that. Hello, Joe! Hey, sir, we are videoing. You can be in the video. This is Joe, a local. We Hello. drink together in the Dolphin and all that. Yeah, let's nice see you. Just doing a bit of filming for the music. Okay, cool. Just explaining about like the roots here at the BMA and what happened on oh, the 7-7. Yeah, yeah. And, and I only live behind it. Well, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah, going to buy his uh, music. I'm going to buy your music. Good man. Keep you going. Good All right. Man. I'll Good catch to see you later. Cheers, right, take care. Tell her, mate. If that woman was sitting right where we was here, the pole went through the, the window. Yeah, she, lucky she was off that day. So yeah, it was all here. So now we're going to go over to the Tavistock Square Gardens here. Real surreal feeling, you know, everyone was screaming and that, oh, it was the bomb inside the building and oh, it was outside and, you know, as I say, crying, screaming, you know. And they were well, at the, well, I never saw it, as I say, I felt the impact, but I'm glad I didn't see anything. Yeah, so uh, so last year I met uh, my mate Steve who used to be on the security. I mean, he had to wear all the chemical suits and all that, and he had to you know, over here, you know, as I said, finding, finding all different sorts of body parts and having to go around in the chemical suits, you know. To say it was a lot, you know, he had to take retire. He took retirement on the suit and to say, you know, count myself lucky one that I weren't standing out here and I'm lucky to be here telling you like the events of it 
but yeah, them images, they must stay with you forever. I <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, last, so like it was like last year, we met here and laid some flowers down and everything. And uh, yeah, one of had a few pints, ran a few stops in the boot and then went on to the McGlynn's, then in the Dolphin. And you know, that's when it comes to us. I was like, I never ever thought about writing about that day, but then started what, what he was saying and you know, and it just started sort of, the lyrics just started flowing. And yeah. Yeah, and it turned into, uh, yeah, the final call, which isn't a pretty song, but it's, a tr it's, it's the truth. You know, it's, you know you're about that day, the experience. Yeah, you know, it's always going to be there. But you have to live in hope and, you know, and then you think about it all them years later it sort of puts everything into perspective really yeah you know we're just all passing through it we've all you know, ain't got any names we're just numbers there's only you know who knows what time limit you've got on this earth but yeah to be to be cut short like that and you know wrong place wrong time harsh feel for all their families and everyone not just here but all the other sites as well on that day and you know ain't just here you know it's just a thing you know it's everything that happens over the world look what's happening like in israel and all that and all the wars there and for what really what by religion a piece of land come on you could all merge up and like be all in it together Will it ever happen? I don't know, mate. But, yeah, the harsh realities of life. Lives sacrificed in a moment. Sound of sirens that remain so potent. We would never forget the brave would fall. The crying and screaming, their final call. Seven, seven would be far.